Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. We are back. It is Friday. We are back for another Hustle and Soul Review Season 3, Episode 6, Bartender Wars. Now let me just first say, we TV, you fucking with me a little bit. Because I could have swore last week it came on on a Friday. So it came on on a Thursday last night. I don't know, my days is kind of messed up. So you're getting it on a Friday evening. Boom, bang, bang, here it go. Another thing... I don't like doing my camera like this. See, I feel like I'm talking to the side. I don't feel like I'm talking right here. Then I feel like I have to look over here, but then it don't feel natural. But anyways, we finna do this. We finna get this thing popping. All right, so it starts off. Chef LP is back from Brooklyn, and he is heartbroken. Because you remember, he had to go up to Brooklyn, check on a pink teacup up there. The ceiling had caved in, crashed all on Thandy's head, and it messed up everything. And it turns out that the landlord was actually doing some some construction on something else and it ended up a pipe or whatever busting and it ended up being water damage in his restaurant and that's messed up girl that's messed up that's messed up but he comes back he comes in the arms of Anna and Anna's there to comfort her man like she's supposed to so they get everybody together and Chef LP tells the staff that the ceiling has collapsed on the pink teacup in Brooklyn and the restaurant is now closed what he worked so hard for, what he had been for 10 years, is now gone. It's closed. And he's heartbroken. Anna is being a little fucking messy, okay? Anna asked, was like, oh my God. Uh, Fandy, you got hit in the head. Uh, messy ass bitch. That's why shit don't go right for your goddamn ass right now. Oh, but she wait, bitch. Oh, but she wait. But anyways, he's heartbroken, he's crying, and the twins are being so encouraging to Lawrence right now. They just like, look, you know, we got your back. You started there, you helped us grow there, we're going to help you grow. Just know that it ain't over. We're going to be here, we're going to have your back. And what does Anna think to do to get everybody back on track so everybody can be happy? Let's drink some fucking liquor, as if you niggas need any more goddamn liquor. So they're going to drink to forget about their problems problems and forget about the restaurant being fucked up in Brooklyn. They just gonna drink and that's gonna solve that problem. Anywho, Nikki and Cola go over to Cola's mom's house because she's gonna tell her mom about the meetup that she had with John John. See, Cola's mom doesn't know that John John likes to go both ways. So she's going over to her house and of course Nikki's going with her to support her and um both Nikki and um, Cola looked super cute in this scene. I got to give it to them. Cola's hair was laid. Her outfit was nice. Nikki had a, she had a little blue wig. You know, Big Mama Blue. She gonna keep that goddamn blue wig popping all the fucking time. That wig was popping. I had to give it to her. It was real cute. She had a little, she didn't have too much testicles out. She looked appropriate for her size because you know she's a BBW and she likes to wear, you know, her chesticles out sometimes, her titty meat, but she had a nice, she had them covered in because she was going over to Cola Mama house and Cola Mama probably like, my mama like, girl, what the fuck is all of this goddamn titties doing now? Put that shit up. But anyways, Cola, um, oh, and her makeup was on point too. I like that. It was really, really cute. But, um, Cola's real somber and she's real sad and she's telling her mom, well, mom, I know how much you and Yaya and Baba and Dada or whatever they all their names is. I know how much you guys love John John. And I remember the last time we were here, we were talking about having a baby. No, bitch, you were talking about having a goddamn baby. We were talking about um, um, having a future together. No, bitch, you were talking about having a future together. Um, but we decided um, to take a mutual break from each other. No, bitch. He decides to break up with your goddamn ass. But her mom is kind of like, wait a minute. No, hold on, hold on. You know, like, what, what's going on? She tells her mom that they're in an open relationship. Her mama did not know that they were in a fucking open relationship. Cola, as y'all know, she comes from a very strong Greek background. So that open relationship shit, that ain't what they do. That ain't, that's not the business. So she's been hiding that from her mother for the whole motherfucking time. So she tells her mama first that they're in an open relationship. And her mother's like, oh... Okay, so, you know, what makes him think that he's just going to choose another woman over you? Mama was down to ride. Mama was like, wait a minute, hold on now. Who is this bitch and why he think he's going to choose another female over you? But then she tells Mama, um, he's in another relationship and the relationship is with the man. Mama's like, ooh, hold on now. 
you gonna have to give me a minute. Let this shit sink sink in for a minute. Uh, I need to absorb this shit. I was not ready for this. Mama was like the rest of us. No, Mama was like some of us, cause some of us already knew that he went both ways. We already knew that, but Mama didn't know that. How Mama didn't know that? How Mama didn't pick up on that? I don't know. But um. Nikki gives her some encouraging words. Of course, she's like, look, bitch, that was in your past. This whole time I hear you talking about John, 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 John. What about Cola? We need to get you back to Cola thinking about you. So we finna go out and we finna turn up. She tells her, I got my own personal Kim K. Bitch, don't compare me to no motherfucking Kim K. I'm sorry. That's neither here nor there. But she tells her, you know what? You gotta move on. So, a part of Cola's moving on from John John is she is contemplating going back to the pink teacup. That's the part of her moving, moving on plan is going back to the pink teacup. The place where a lot of the fucking drama started at in the first goddamn place. That's where you want to take your ass back to? All right, girl. You like it. I love it. You want some more of it. So Anna takes LP out on a date on a boat because she wants him to, she wants to take his mind off of everything that's going on at the Pink Tea Cup back in Brooklyn. So um, she tells him that, you know, she's never been fishing before. She goes out on a boat and to this bobblehead female surprise, there's fish in water. She, 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 she had no idea that there was actually fish in the water. But like she says in New York, they don't do that out there. You don't want to go goddamn swimming, uh, fishing in the Hudson River. You know how to pull up some goddamn, some, some shit. You're going to pull up a person. You ain't going to pull up no fucking fish. But, you know, they're in Miami, so you can do that shit in Miami. But that's another thing, too. I would have thought it's some kind of catch and release rule or something like that. But they out there catching groper and shit. But, um... I think it was a setup. Anna didn't catch that fish because it was her first time fishing. The first time she put her hands on it, like, oh, whoa, Nelly, you got a big one, bitch. You didn't catch that fucking fish. Way to go, WeTV. I caught that. I caught that. Y'all threw that out there, and I, cause she caught the fish, and I caught that shit that y'all did. I caught that shit. But um, LP is saying that he wants to take the pink teacup villa on, um, uh, he wants to try something new. He wants to do a pink teacup boat where he has um, brunches or he has dinners out on the boat, which would not be a badass idea out there in Miami. Let me tell you a quick story though. Me and my husband went on vacation in Hawaii and we went on a sunset dinner cruise. And let me tell y'all, I'm, I'm not a water chick. I was born June 27th. My sign is a cancer, but I don't fuck with water like that. I fuck with the shower. I fuck with jacuzzis. I fuck, fuck with knee-high water. Maybe even chest-high water. You know, I take that back because we took the kids to Great Wolf Lodge for spring break, and I got my ass in the water. I didn't get under the water. You got me fucked up there, but I did get in the water. But anyways, we went on the sunset dinner cruise, and the water was choppy as hell, and that just turned me off to anything that got anything to do with eating on a fucking boat. I just can't do it. That's just me. It sounds like it would be really fucking beautiful, but I went on one, and it just wasn't my goddamn thing. But it would be a, um, a good-ass idea if they were to do that. I think they would bring in a lot of goddamn business if they did that. But um, LP is, um, he says that... Um, with everybody, with the restaurant being closed down, everybody's going to have to start looking for another job. But Thandy, mm, he just kind of leaves it at that. Like, um, you know that's my side bitch, right? <laughs> he didn't say that, but I know you, you know that you know this my side bitch, right? You know I got to look up for my hoes, right? So he tells Anna, Anna, you got the juice now. Why you tell that bitch that? Why you tell that bitch that? Basically, he's telling her without telling her, I want you to bring Thandy on. But he can't really come out and say that. But he just got to throw it out there like that. Like, I feel so bad for Thandy. The pink teacup Brooklyn was a baby. And now she don't have a baby no more. What we going to do? And da, da 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 So Anna's like, you know what? God would want me to give all his little animals a chance. Even all the little animals. Yeah, bitch, just like he gave your snake ass a chance. Bitch. Anyways, so Cola gets on her baddest pink onesie romper jumper thing. It was a cute little outfit though. I gotta give her that. I ain't hating. It was a cute little outfit. So she put on her little hot pink onesie thing, her little romper. She calls a meeting with Anna because um, she said to herself she lost her man. She lost her friends and she lost her dignity and now she wants to get her job back at the pink teacup. 
You want to go back to the same bullshit that you escaped from, that you turned your back on because you, you were smart about that, but now you want to go back to the bullshit. Girl, bye. Mm-mm. Girl, bye. So, um... She says that she knows she could be elsewhere. There's plenty of other bars, lounges, places that she could go to. But she's went, she's um she's rolled with the pink teacup that she wants to be a part of their brand and that she wants to help the pink teacup to grow. Girl, bye. What you really want to say is that it's in your contract. You are bound to do the shit. So you have to fucking show up. And plus, you, you need that paper. You got to get that money, man. That's why you showed up to that goddamn shit. Because for her to show up and to kiss Anna's ass the way she did, you couldn't have done that with, without being paid. I'm sorry. She went in there damn near groveling to Anna's ass. She went in there and was like, look, um... I respect you. I respect your hustle. I respect everything that, that you've done this far with the pink teacup. And I want to help y'all grow. And she even cuts, you know, her little green screen, green screen. And she says, I'd be lying if I said everything that I was saying to Anna was sincere. Which we all knew you was kissing ass just to get your ass back up in there. And um, Anna's basically like, you know, um, I don't trust your motherfucking ass. And if I hear for a second anybody says, Cola said, you said this, is that, da, 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 it's going to be a problem. So, um, you come back to work or what? And Cola was like, oh, you, shit, okay, I guess we're not going to hug it out now, bitch. You know, Anna's a cold-hearted bitch. Anna's cold-hearted. Bitch, fuck your feelings. She not finna do that fake-ass shit with you. She not finna do it. And the, really, the only reason why she letting your ass back up in there is because, again, it's in her contract. She has to. And plus, she gotta get that, get that money, man. That's why she brought your goddamn ass back in there. So, it's Cola's first day back on the job. She's up back there behind the bar with uh, Drika. And Cola's wig is a hot fucking mess. Cola's wig looked like the thing from Martin when it was on vacation in Hawaii. And that thing that was running around and, and had attached and Martin was, was, was fighting his ass. That's what, that, that's what Cola's wig looked like. It's just sitting on there like that. Just like that. And she's moving to the side, and she's looking, and this wig is just like that. I just can't do it, Lord. I didn't like that doggone wig. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. But she's in there her first day back, and her and Drika are going back and forth. Drika, I, Drika's a little young, hating-ass female. I'm sorry, but she is. She's a cute girl, but secure women who got their shit together, who know what they got going on about themselves, they're not worried about the next female coming in and stealing the goddamn thing from them. That's just how we roll. That's how we think. Insecure women, they're bothered by the next female that comes in. Whether she's good or not, you bothered by her. Why? Because it's in your spirit. You're just a hater. I did a, a car combo on that uh, earlier. Miserable people. Check that out. But, um... Cola and Drika are going back and forth. Cola's like, oh, I thought you were going to cut up the fruit because you got here first. Drika's like, no, you can go get them. They over there in the first and top of the refrigerator over there. Cola goes over there. Oh, I ain't got them. I ain't see them. She's like, oh, oh, my bad. They right here. They just going back and forth on some real dumbass, petty ass shit. The shit was getting on my nerves. And you can tell that the twins, the twins really don't care for Drika because you can tell the twins were like, mm-hmm, yeah, Cola ain't finna stand for that shit. Cola gonna stand her ground. I I think Drake is just jealous and blah, 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 blah. Just talking that shit. The twins, you know, they're just being messy like they know how to be messy. But um, she's basically saying that... Um, this whole time, too, as well, that Drika and Cola are going back and forth. Anna and LP are just sitting back looking at the shit. That's another reason why they fucking establishment gonna steady be fucked up because you sitting and you watching this whole fucking train wreck go down and you ain't doing nothing to stop it like you you were facilitating the bullshit that's what it is so Drinka is basically saying like um i've been here you were gone i've been here and you don't have the right to come back in here you don't have the right to do that which granted i'm sure just because that's the type of bitch that cola is i'm sure she came in with the motherfucking attitude she came in like i'm that bitch because she walks around thinking that she's that bitch so i'm sure that's how she came in but then again on the flip side what drika doesn't realize is cola was there when they were back in brooklyn Cola was the bar manager when they were back in Brooklyn. She's a damn good bartender because a lot of people do know her. And as a matter of fact, when old ratchet Anika came in, Anika even said the same thing. Anika was instantly bothered when she came in and seen Cola, which, you know, when they last had a uh, 
you know, uh, meetup, that was when it was that big old fight and they fell over in a pool and all that other bullshit. So since then, you know, they've not been on, they did not end on good terms. So again, when Drika walks in or when Nika walks in, it's all these Ika bitches. God damn. When Anika walks in, she sees Cola and she instantly gets pissed off and was like, oh, what's up, fam? Are this bitch is back? Like, like you know, what, what, what's going on? What's this happening to other? So Anika comes at her with her fucking, they just, they just going at it, going at it. So Anika comes out the blue anywhere. It was like, you know, oh, I know you thought about me. I know you're thinking about my pussy. Like, what? Anika make she makes my ass hurt. She makes my ass hurt. She makes my ass hurt. So Chef LP is like, look here, we're planning a dinner, sending everybody home. Go home, get dressed up in your best shit. Come back to work, and we gonna have a dinner. It's gonna be after hours. We are gonna close the shit down. We are gonna have a dinner. Basically, you sending these niggas home to get dressed up in their best shit to come back and continue on with the same bullshit. Chef LP, stop it. You could have had them hoes stay there. You could have called in a pizza and some burgers and had them hoes finish that shit. Come on now. So, oh, and then it's messed up too that on the way out, Anna has to tell Anika to shower. Shower before you put on your clothes and then come back. Where did that come from? What did we miss? What the fuck did I miss? Why is she telling this girl to take a shower? Was I in the bathroom? When when was there an odor incident that I don't know about? Like that shit was real left field. But anyway, back at the house, they getting ready for the dinner, and Nika is doing Nikki is doing Cola's makeup. All these fucking Nika Nika Nikki Anikiki. This shit is <laughs> throwing me the fuck off, and I'm sober right now. I swear to God, this ain't nothing but apple juice in my cup, and I still can't pronounce these hoes' names. But anyways, Nikki is doing Cola's makeup. Now, y'all, the shit looked fucked up in the beginning, okay? Because she just had a lot of shit on. She had her eyebrows all the way down to here. And then she had the, the, the concealer, like, caked, like, caked on. The shit looked a hot fucking mess. It was too much makeup. It was too thick. It was too many eyebrows. It was too many, too much Everything, it was just too much going on. But anyway, while, anyways, while Nikki is doing Cola's makeup, she tells her that she has a date with one of the big buff guys from her video because, you know, um, Nikki, a.k.a. Big Mama Blue, she's a rapper. So she has a um, date with one of the buff guys from her video, and she tells Cola that she, she hopes that he's the one because just being out here around dating ain't her thing, which I totally and completely feel you, girl, because the shit ain't goddamn worth it. It, it ain't goddamn worth it. So at this point, Cola reflects back on her time with John John, and she just can't help but think about the times that they shared together and how... You know, the next person that she meets, she's going to have to explain to them, like, you know, when they ask, hey, so, you know, what was the last relationship you were in? Oh, well, I was with a guy for a couple years, and we were in an open relationship, and he left me for a man. Like, she doesn't know how she's going to have to explain that to other people. And, bitch, I don't know how you're going to have to explain it to other people either. Have, 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 don't say nothing to them. Shit, don't tell them that. <laughs> bitch, what's wrong with you? They said that um, he hit the lottery, and he moved to Nigeria. Y'all, he moved to the North Pole. Not that y'all was in a relationship with like, for another man, bitch. No, uh-uh. He's in Afghanistan on missionary work, bitch. Bye. But they back um at the restaurant for the dinner. Lawrence and his beard. I keep hearing so many people call him his call it his Beijing beard. That shit is funny to me. Lawrence and his Beijing beard. That is too goddamn funny to me, baby. But he's telling the staff that um, the New York restaurant is closed. And so from that, he wants to make Miami the main restaurant. Because Miami right now is breaking even. And so basically, he wants him to hustle, 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 hustle harder. Even harder. So they can come up with some more of that ching ching, some more of that munty. So, with that, he wants him to hustle hard because he wants to now hire managers for each, each section of the restaurant, starting off with the bar, okay? So, with that, um, 
Although he wants to hire managers, he knows that none of you bitches can get along. So the other point of the dinner was for them to basically talk about whatever issues they're having. They can hash it out. So hopefully they can squash the bullshit and move on from it. He can hire his managers and he can make his money. You dealing with a bunch of fucking ratchets. That ain't finna goddamn happen. So Anna's like, look. Anika and Cola, whatever issues y'all got, y'all need to talk about it, y'all need to squash it, and y'all need to move on from it. Y'all need to put it out on the table, talk about it, bam, right now, let's go. Cola's like, look, um, Anika, I ain't got no problem with you, I don't even know you, like, you got a problem with me, blah, 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 blah. The twins immediately start laughing about the shit because the shit is funny. I'd be laughing at them too. It's fucking petty, it's funny as hell. She snaps at they goddamn ass. Then she tells Cola... It was it was weird. She was like, look, first of all, I thought it was you and your little goonies, and I thought your little goonies were coming after me, but then I see it wasn't your little goonies, and that it wasn't you, and it was your little goonies, and it wasn't you, but now I know it wasn't you. I got love for you, baby girl. Everybody was like, what the fuck just happened? What the fuck did she just say? Where the fuck did that just come from? But hey, the bitch apologized. It is what it is. You know, we 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 gonna leave that shit alone. So when it comes to Drika, Drika really don't have no valid reason why she does not like Cola. She just doesn't like Cola because Cola was gone and Cola came back. That's what it all boils down to, in my opinion. That's what it is. She don't have no reason not to really like her ass. She really don't like her because Anika didn't like her. And she didn't like her friends. And so that's why she didn't like her ass. Which is so fucking silly to me. I, I, I'm sorry. I can't get behind the whole, my friend doesn't like you, so I don't like you too. That's not me. I've never been like that. Now, it would be different if you personally disrespected me in some sort of way. If you were around me and you're talking about this person, then I'm going to correct that. But because I have my own mindset, I, I think on my own, I have my own brain and my own personality, just because this person has an issue with this person, I'm not going to insert myself in that shit. I'm not going to have an issue with this person just because you have an issue with this person. That's not me. That's not how I roll. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry for that. Moving right along from that. So from that Big Mama Blue, she is um, at the pool and she's on a date with her little friend Jack, the little big buff guy from her video. Jack got a nice ass body, but oh, that butter face. That nigga got a face that only a mother could love, baby. Mm. Mm. And they got one of them bless his heart ass faces. <laughs> and nigga got one of them mm, just kiss me on the cheek ass faces. <laughs> and they got with the oh you mm, no you got one of them kind of faces. Only a face that a mother could love, baby. Bless his goddamn heart. He all down there at the pool, rubbing all on her body, arty, arty, and all of that. And so he tells he wants to give her a massage. The classic, the classic nigga line when they trying to get in them draws. I want to give you a massage. Nigga. Ladies, I think we've all had a massage before. Now they call it Netflix and chill. Well, no, now they just call it fucking. That's what it is. So they go back in the bedroom and they up in there making all these weird ass goddamn noises. The twins is on the side of the door. They're talking about... Yeah, she was in there getting it in. She said I didn't do nothing, but girl, by He was sucking on them toes. He was, he was in there doing something because you was up in there and you was making all kind of goddamn noises and then you wasn't praising. Well, you was praising something, but it wasn't God. Anyways, so the next day, Big Mama Blue come in skipping to work. Da, 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 And the twins are teasing her. They teasing her. They're like, we heard jumping out on the twins are being messy as hell. They are teasing the hell out of her. Now she claims she's in love. Girl, bye. But then she claims she didn't get the D. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. That boy tore that ass up. Anyway, 
Anna, um, Anna tells Cola and Drinker that she wants to do a contest. She wants to do a contest for the best cocktail. Now, she claims that she wants to do that because whatever the cocktail is, she wants to put it on the menu, and she wants to name the drink after whoever is the winner of the contest. Now, um... Cola, of course, she's all cocky, like, I've been here, I've been doing this, I'm going to do this, you know, yada, 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 I got this down. And so, um, Anna's idea is that she wants to blindfold everybody who's going to be tasting the drinks because she doesn't want them to know whose drink is what, because, yes, it would be biased, because don't nobody there like Cola, or well, the twins love Cola. So, of course, you know, friends are going to go for friends, so she wants to blindfold them. And guess what? Anika just so happens to have blindfolds on her, she claims from her stripping days. So she just so happened to have a couple pair of handy dandy blindfolds just laying around in her shit ready. Bitch, Anika, where's your daddy and your mom them at, girl? Where your people them at? Girl, she just needs somebody. She needs somebody in her corner. She really do. She really do need somebody in her corner. So anyways, they blindfold the staff and they have everybody taste the drinks. Now, everybody's saying that the first drink, well, the twins are saying the first drink tastes like a Tic Tac, an orange Tic Tac. They're saying the second drink tastes like a rotten apple. Anika said that um, she likes the pretty drink because it feels beautiful in her mouth. It always got to be a fucking sexual reference with her ass. Anika... Where your peep? Where your ma? Where your cousin there, man? I know you got somebody. Oh, you know what? If you don't, you ain't got no real friends. Because, baby, you need somebody in your corner. You need a sponsor in your corner helping you, girl. You really do. But anyways, it ultimately comes down to Chef LP. And Chef LP chooses Cola's drink, of course. Yada, 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 like we all knew. And Drinka is pissed. Drinka's like, I'm not going to make this bitch. God, I don't give a damn what it is. I'm not making a motherfucking drink. The bitch is mad. She done made up her goddamn mind. So later on that evening, um, Drinka's still pissed. And she does not want to make Cola's drink. Cola's like, look, I need to teach you how to make this drink so when people order it, you'll know how to make it. Drinka's like, no. I don't give a damn if they do order the cola drink. They're not going to get it from me. They can get it from you. I'm not going to make it. She's just being real childish. Real fucking dumb and petty. And you know what, Anna? LP, this is the kind of shit you allow in your establishment. So, hey, that's just what the fuck it's going to be. So, Drinker starts taking shots. She starts throwing them hoes back. And Chef LP is like, oh, you just go, oh, you just going to start drinking. And even Anna's like, girl, don't do that. Like, bitch, you just going to start throwing it back in front of your boss like that. Like, damn. Okay. So, later after that, Chef LP announces that Cola is going to now be the new bar manager, and instantly, Drinka is pissed. Drinka's like, look, this bitch came in here, made one drink, and now y'all finna make this whole goddamn bar manager? Like, how? What, when, where, why? Where they do that at? Like, she not finna manage me. I'll let you know that now. She not finna manage me. And... Again, that's the fucked up shit you got going on in that goddamn establishment. Shit ain't gonna never be right because you got a bunch of ratchets running around up in there running the fucking muck, doing what the fuck they want to do, saying what the fuck they want to say. You got to get these bitches on a leash, Lawrence. Get these bitches running wild around here. Just say what the fuck they want to say. Of course, the twins are hype. They messy, though. They have to like, yeah, Cole, you deserve that, Cole. They just being messy as hell. You know how they motherfucking asses do. So... She starts basically going off on everybody, tells LP, shut the fuck up, tells the twins to shut the fuck up. So she's like, you know what? Give me this motherfucking drink. Gets the drink, splashes the drink in Lawrence's face, splashes the rest in Cola's drink face. Fuck you, I'm out, I quit. That's it, I'm out. And the show ends right there. Um... It was entertaining, to say the least. It was very entertaining. You know it's the ratchet shit, and I'm here for it. I'm here to watch it. But, um, yeah, Chef LP, you got bitches running wild in there, man. They running the fucking muck. Bring your motherfucking property value down, man. Get them hoes. Get them hoes. Anyways, that was Hustling Soul. Let me know what you guys think. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. And I am paying homage. Y'all like my t-shirt tonight? Boys in the hood. <laughs> Just waking up in the morning, gotta thank God. I don't know, but today seems kind of odd. No barking from the dogs, no smog. And mama cooking breakfast with no harm. 
I got my grub on, my dig pig out. Finally got a call from my girl I want to dig out. Hooked it up for later as I hit the door. Thinking will I live another 24. I got the gold cause I got me a drop top. And if I hit the switch, I can make the ass drop. The hat stop. Fatty red lifestyle. <laughs> God, that motherfucker. Anyways, share the video and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. I holla.